Seen so much improvement this year from Drake London and as the season progresses, you can watch some of the things that happens in game that he starts to become a better, what I call, feeler of the game. On this particular play here, you're gonna have a clear out by OZ on a post route, and then you're gonna get Drake coming here on a corner route, but he feels it in a way where he's drawing these routes up for you. He feels it in a way that he sits down in the zone. I got a couple plays I'm gonna show you where the feel of Drake is really why he's able to get the football in his hands. Now here's the corner out coming. They're playing cover three, so you got a deep safety. You got this corner playing deep third, and that's the point of OZ is to clear this guy out so that when Drake comes in here on this corner out, he has a zone to run through. But they do a good job, actually, of dropping deep into the zone here and of not allowing him really get the football there. But watch as Drake comes out of this. He knows that there's a cover three corner here, so if he runs to him, he's going to run himself into a cover area. But he does a good job of what I call just selling into this hole, and then Ritter does a nice job of just landing to him high and gives him kind of a back shoulder throw. Now he goes up and gets his ball. Now look at the area he kind of throttles into because he could easily run into this, and then you see this corner already trying to fall off into it, but he has a good feel, a great feel to sit in this little void that you have here. In the NFL, that's open. There's a little void you got to sit into. He has a good feel for it, and watch what the ball placement is of this ball. A little high, a little behind him, which you perfectly like because you don't throw him into this corner. And then you throw it high where you're draking you that big 6'4", six, 6'5", six, frame and watch him come down and go up and get it. Nice job of going up and get it. Watch it one more time, play it all the way through and watch him just feel that boy settle in there just enough. Now go up and get the football. Nice feel by Drake right there. Now there's a reason why the last two weeks Drake has had career catches and yards because of, like I mentioned, the feel he has in coverages. This is a guy who's understanding what defenses are trying to do to him. So now you're going to go play action away from him and you're going to get some little flow this way from the linebackers, but this is the backside dig that you're going to hit. Now, all these guys are going to gain depth once they see it's not run. So they're going to try to get into their particular zones. So you got to watch what Drake does. He doesn't come all the way into the zone on the next level. He sits down in this voided area, has a great feel for coverage and what a defense is trying to do to take away this particular route on the backside. Now watch him as he comes in here. Now here's the zone. They're in, they're in some kind of zone coverage here. Safety's deep, but here's the underneath defender that he has to kind of finagle. He's got this first window throw. This guy, you see him, he's trying to look him up, but he doesn't. he's too shallow for him. Drake comes in here, nice depth here on the route, but watch, look at his eyes. As he's coming in here, you can see him looking for that next defender. So you talk about window throws for quarterbacks and for receivers. This is a first window throw. As soon as he comes inside here on the first window, he's just going to settle down in his void, and now you can see the feel that he has. Look at that. Doesn't move, doesn't run into it, because here's the guy that can take that ball away, because if he comes all the way across, guess what? He's going to take it away, and now you got to go somewhere else. But watch him come in here and sit down. Look at this. Sits down right in this void. Now look at the triangle they have around him. They think they probably can have it covered pretty well. They got eyes on the quarterback, and like I mentioned, if Drake came across here, he would take it away, and it doesn't give anywhere for your quarterback to throw the football. Other key thing is give the quarterback your numbers. He gets squared to the line of scrimmage. He tells the quarterback, I'm sitting here, and now it makes it an easy completion for Drake London. Love the field. Love him sitting out in that boy. These are the things that are allowing him to get open and get the football here late in the season. When you have a rapport with your quarterback and you understand where the ball should be and where the ball has to be, this is the particular play that you love here. This is what I call a fade stop. Basically what happens here is you're running a fade and if you can get on top of them, you keep going. If you can't, you come back off on what I call a stop route right on the outside and he's going to do a good job of coming off of So on the top of the stem here, you get press coverage on the outside. So first off, you know you're running an outbreaking route. You have to make sure you give your quarterback room over here on the sideline when you're running this particular route. And he does a great job of being physical at the point of attack and not giving up the sideline here. So you see here, you got about five yards away from the sideline. On any practice field, there is a big red line that's five yards from the sideline to the into the field. The purpose of this is when your quarterback throws the football, it gives him room to lay the football. Drake does such a good job of staying on that red line and staying vertical. Other part thing, look at the top of this route. Look at this DB pulling on him, tugging on him, but he's just as physical with the DB, which is great because it doesn't allow him to push him to the sideline or push him off his route. He's physical at the top of it as well. And the other part is I talked about the fade stop. Right here, it doesn't look like he can get on top of him. 
So as he gets up to his proper depth, he's gonna break it off. And now the timing of the throw is even more perfect. Ball is out. Drake is still fighting with the guy, but watch at the point of attack when the ball gets halfway there. He's created the separation now. Look at that. And then he still gives his quarterback room to lay this football in case he wants to throw it outside. No quarterback wants to throw the football back to the inside. Does a great job of throwing it outside. Drake gives him a big body throw here. Once again, goes up high and outside. And now you see the athleticism going down, get a foot down, and that elbow inbounds that we remember from the ball game. Nice job of physical at the point of attack. At the top of the route, coming out of it, having a good feel, and then using athleticism to make another big time catch. Also talk about the nuances of making sure that you're doing the right thing and showing the right thing to your quarterback, never leaving your quarterback out of the dry. This is a great, great example of that. Drake's gonna come in here and he has a bit of an option right here and he's gonna end up breaking inside. This is the guy he wants to work off, this inside linebacker. Now, the, when you come up and you come across, the most important thing is to make sure that you come flat. And when I say come flat, they're going to reroute this tight end here. He's going to end up running what we call an inside basic. And now you got an underneath little shot across that comes across. But the main thing is once he makes this break, he has to come flat. If he goes a little bit too deep or he goes behind him, this will be picked off. Your quarterback trusts you. And look at this. You see where he's at now. He wants to sit down here. Now, Ritter throws him a little bit inside, but because he throws inside, he has to come flat. He does a good job of coming flat and look at him attack the football. Comes underneath and stays underneath the defender. You go around this defender or you confuse your quarterback, that's going to be interception. Nice job of coming flat to the quarter, quarterback. And then nice tough physical hands, another good field. Knowing where the defender is, as you can see him, kind of angle his body away from his defender. And now you have a nice clean catch. And now you got some catch and run after the catch here. Nice job of coming vertical. Then it comes flat. Doesn't take it upfield. This is a nice job by Drake. And Drake's done a great job at the end of the season of understanding field, understanding coverage, and being available for his quarterback. This guy has continued to be one of the top receivers in the game. I'm BJ Shockley. This has been Falcons Film Review powered by Microsoft Surface.